So, uh, looks like we got some interesting news to come out from IDW. I always like to talk about IDW news. And uh, today, just like I think a couple hours ago, it was announced uh, two things. But I'm going to talk more about one thing than the other. But we got two things announced. One, we had uh, the announcement that uh, HBO Max is not only going to show... Godzilla vs. Kong in theaters. Yes, they're still going to do that, but they're also going to show it on their streaming site along with their movies, and they showcased a official title, which I'm sure the major Godzilla fans are already busting a note over. It's like, it's another title! It's another, like, title image! Ugh. Ugh. <coughs> yeah, I can already hear, like, the, the, nut, uh, the thousands of nuts being busted right now over the sight of the image of the title uh, of the just an image of the title of the movie. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about something that is Godzilla related, but has a little more kick to it right now. I don't want to talk a lot about Godzilla vs. Kong stuff a lot. Um, a, because I'm going to wait for a trailer. Uh, trust me, I, I will talk about a trailer. Don't get me wrong. I will talk about a trailer, but... I'm not going to talk about every little minutia and go de go into major details over it. And two, I'm really mad at the Godzilla fandom for being completely shitty about the whole situation because oh, we didn't get a movie because thousands of people are of, of thousands of people are dying in a pandemic. Oh, fuck all of you. Anyway, but what I am going to talk about is that Toho and IDW uh, IDW Comics and Toho are re are repartnering for new comics, new Godzilla comics coming from IDW. So, IDW Godzilla comics are first off the first batch that were that ran from 2011 to 2016 were amazing. I absolutely love them. Of course, Godzilla: The Half Century War and uh, Godzilla: uh, Rulers of Earth. Both excellent series, um, Rage Across Time and Godzilla and Hell. All of them, excellent, excellent series. Um, so this new con uh, this will be new continuity and separate in mini series. I don't know if there's going to be an ongoing, but it is really cool to see that IDW and Toho repartnered for another multi year deal. I don't know how long they. All I read from the report is that it's a multi-year deal. I don't know how long that multi-year deal is. Maybe five years, like five to six years, like um, the previous deal was. But yeah, it's funny. It, again, like they wanted. I feel like they wanted to announce this prior, or like originally when Godzilla vs Kong was going to be announced. I had a sneaking suspicion, but now that we know for sure that it is coming out in theaters and on streaming next year. Uh, roughly the same time these comics are going to be are going to be coming out. The um, the comics, by the way, will be coming out in spring 2021, and it will be a fi start with a five issue mini series uh, that is written by Eric Burnham. Who Eric Burnham? If you don't know, Eric Burnham is a madman over at IDW Comics. He has written, of course, the whole IDW Ghostbusters pantheon. And he's also done work in Transformers, he's done uh, G.I. Joe, he's he's literally done every fucking thing you could think of at IDW Comics. He has written for every licensed property. Um, but his big claim to fame was the Ghostbuster comics. That was the major thing was, he was the major writer over at IDW Com uh, for um, Ghostbusters. He wrote the literally the whole identity of the IDW Ghostbusters, and continues to do so. So, I will say that if you're expecting a dark and gritty Godzilla comic right out the gate, it doesn't look like that. This They even said that this God's particular first Godzilla comic is going to be, like, for middle school. This is, like, for middle schools, like, and teen, young teens. This is going to be a young adult Godzilla comic. And before anyone starts bitching, like, Oh, Godzilla needs to be dark and gritty and bloody... Yeah, half the Showa movies need to have a fucking word with you. Seriously. The thing about Godzilla is that he's a malleable property. Do I prefer, like, a darker take on Godzilla? Absolutely. But at the same time, there are people who really like the, the wackiness and child stuff in, like, the Showa era. So, the fact that we're getting a... And, and please do not misunderstand. Um... 
Eric Burnham is no idiot when it comes to all-age comics. He knows how to write an all-age comic and make it for all ages. Like, he knows how to do a young adult comic and make it for all ages to enjoy. I'm not discrediting him or the artist Dan Schooling, who are, again, he's worked with um, Burnham on the Ghostbuster comics. And the major thing... The major thing is that this guy is a veteran writer. He knows his titles, so I have no doubt in my mind that he is going to do something grand in this five-issue miniseries. And we don't know much about it right now, but the, from the teaser image, it looks like Godzilla standing with a bunch of kids who look like the protagonists in a... Two of them obviously are the fairies. Two of them in the front are the fairies, but three other characters are there, and they all look like characters you would see in a DreamWorks, er, DreamWorks animated show over on uh, Netflix. Like, I'm already waiting for the next Netflix pilot of this. I'm just kidding. Um, so, yeah, I'm fine with it, you know, and they even said that not every Godzilla comic is going to be an all-ages comic. So, calm your tits. Calm your tits, people. We're going to have a, a vast array of Godzilla comics. You know, ranging from, you know, a little older to younger audiences. And I think that may have been the problem the first time around, because the first time it was written by... Obviously, don't give me... Don't discredit... Uh, don't think I'm discrediting the writers over at IDW for the first batch of Godzilla comics, but a lot of them were a lot more mature. And I still want mature Godzilla comics, don't get me wrong. But my thing is, it would. It, the problem was, I feel like looking back in hindsight, maybe they should have done a little more all ages stuff to get more readers into Godzilla. Because here's the thing, guys: Godzilla is a die has a fandom is killing itself and dying. It's it's a fandom that is so niche right now. Like hell, I will let you in on, on a little secret. Half the friends I am with who love Godzilla are just kind of drifting away from it. Because of the toxicity in the fa in the fandom and the gatekeeping. So, if we are going to bitch about every little minutia of Godzilla and the fact that we're just getting an all-age comic and that's suddenly a bad thing, then what the fuck's your problem? You are literally the reason this fandom is killing itself. You are part of that fucking problem of this fandom completely self-destructing in on of itself because there is rampant gatekeeping going on like, if you thought the Star Wars fandom had gatekeeping going on, then, um, I don't know what to tell you, because that's the same problem with God with the Godzilla fandom. And it's been that way since, uh, the 2014 movies. Like, it's been that since 2014, when the, um, Gareth Edwards Godzilla film came out. And it feels like it's been that, it's been kind of perpetuating ever since. And I feel like we need the stuff like this for like that's why I wasn't that's why I wasn't against the toys when the Godzilla vs Kong toys came out from Playmates and yes they're shoddy as all fuck but here's the thing if someone get, if a parent gets that to his child there's a chance we've got a new Godzilla fan there but if you're just not gonna or you know buy the product or support it or support that yeah these toys are not for me you know these figures are not for me. So, I will, but I, you know, maybe I'll buy them to support the industry, and maybe give them to, like, a nephew or a niece, or if you have kids your own or grandkids, you can give them to them and they can play with it, and be introduced to Godzilla that way. I was introduced to Godzilla through, um, and I think I've talked about this before, is that I was being, I had a blood clot in my heart that was when I was two, and if I had slowed down, if I had slept, my heart would have slowed down and I would have died. So my dad put in Godzilla, if I recall, if I vaguely, I vaguely remember, um, I want to say Godzilla 85 and 50, and King of the, Mo and 54, not the original 54, of course, the one with, with um, Raymond Burr in it, but still. And basically, they kept me awake long enough for me to be taken over to surgery to have the blood clot removed, and I'd be fine. At least that's how my dad spun it. That's how my dad always told me. So, I've always had a, a soft spot for Godzilla, and I've always welcomed new stuff, regardless of what it is, for Godzilla. And hell, by the way, assholes, 
uh, you're getting an anime on Netflix, a new anime on Netflix. So if you don't like the comics, don't fucking buy them. But go to, then you can go to Netflix. Oh, you don't like the Netflix anime? Well, you can go watch Godzilla vs. Kong. Oh, you don't like Godzilla vs. Kong? Then fuck you! Because you are literally the reason why this fam fandom is self-destructing. Because I have been seeing it. I didn't want to acknowledge it. It wasn't a pre it wasn't a major presence. I wouldn't say until I'd say Shin ro rolled around. I think when Shin Godzilla rolled around, that's when the problems the the problems with the fandom really started, and it's just kind of snowballed since King of the Monsters. So I am gonna say that when P that if Godzilla vs Kong doesn't do well, and that's the end of the monster verse. Do not bitch for one second going, Oh, it was such a great movie franchise, why did they get rid of it? Because fuckers like you had to bitch and moan about it every goddamn second. And hell, like I said, these comics are going to have, com are gonna have um, reader labels for everybody. Like, if you don't like the young adult comic, good. They're probably going to shoot out another, another comic with um, all these characters. That's the other thing I forgot to mention, is that these comics are going to feature all of the Toho monsters, just like before. They got the licensing for all the Toho monsters in, uh, just like before with IDW. So, don't worry, they're all gonna be here. But yeah, and maybe we might get a crossover. That'd be cool. Like, maybe Toho... I doubt it. I sincerely doubt Toho is gonna let them cross over with anything. But maybe because Godzilla did do that anime crossover with that anime about the robot trains... You never know. <coughs> so, yeah. I'm sorry to go on the rant, but I felt like I, I just need to address it. Because I know people were going to bitch and moan about, Oh, it's a comic with kid characters in it. And it's not a Godzilla comic. <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna go take my neckbeard ass and jack off to Latsuni Miku in the corner and cry about it like the little fat fuck I am. I need to stop before I completely lose my shit anyway so you guys tell me in the comments below uh what did you guys think uh what do you guys think of these uh of this comic announcement uh just comment below let me know once again i'm mr multiverse and i'll see you next time in the multiverse